Devil Horn Salute. A little wake and bake thing here. What's going on, guys? Devil Horn Salute to all my two fans out there and anybody that will watch this video about bullshit and sports. For those of you that give a fuck, I've been sick for the last 48 hours real bad. We finally have an idea what's wrong with me. It's called fatty liver disease. Now, I've contracted hep C earlier in my life through lifestyle choices, whatever the fuck. And then uh, I take blood tests all the time. And all the time, my blood tests, they always come back normal. And then I finally went in for a sonogram, and uh, they finally found something. They couldn't find my pancreas. No shit, I got an x-ray in my stomach. They can't find my pancreas, but they, you got fat. And then the nurse that calls me, God bless her, uh, dipshit, uh, couldn't even pronounce the, the, the fucking name of the disease that I have. That was, you know, I went online and found it no big deal. Let me tell you something. It's like the scummering squalus. It. The Christmas tree on there says that all the hatches and vents and everything are closed. It's all, you know, everything's closed. We can dive. But when they dove, there was an induction port to the engine in the engine compartment. Well, that hatch wasn't closed and it started flooding. That's just like these blood tests. You're sick and your doctor, I don't know what's going on. The blood test says it's fine. Then you find the go to somewhere and you find out, oh, there's the problem. Yeah, the hatch was left open. A few years ago, during the summer of love and the social upheaval that we've had and the changes that, well, y'all agreed to. I don't agree to it. This ain't my fucking world. I don't claim no part of your guys' shit anymore. Rules changed. Now, I guess a couple years ago, and I had no idea, but the NFL overtime rule changed. I was always under the impression the first team that scores wins. When I heard that there was going to be no timeouts in overtime because of four quarters. What the fuck? I hadn't watched a football game in years. Finally, the other night, me and the old lady is up. It's like, go ahead, baby. It's the last couple minutes. Put the stupid bowl on. And we watched it go into overtime, and then things weren't looking good. We even turned it off because we haven't watched in years, and we're superstitious. We're superstitious, okay? And then it's turn it back on. 49ers kicked the field. They should have won the game. There, but hey, Patrick Mahomes and everybody, they throw the winning touchdown. Guy catches the ball, didn't even know it. I've watched a couple things. Normally I wouldn't, but there's so much controversy going on with this. Uh, I quit watching sports when they took a knee. I love football. Let me explain something to you Chiefs fans, or those of you that are not Chiefs fans, but you might have a shitty team like the Lions. All those years of Marty Ball. All those years of playoffs and so close and never, ever getting the golden ticket. Finally, we get Wonder Boy, and they have to take a knee. They take, the NFL took on social agenda, politics, and all this bullshit that has nothing to do with football whatsoever, including your public-private opinion, Mr. Afro Man. It, it, it don't make sense. You lost a fan base there. Um People like my grandparents that grew up with football. I mean, that's all they had, baseball and football. Remember, baseball was big at one time. Hell, football, but now the whole landscape's changed. Now, we've always known, because of books and betting, that, yeah, you know, sometimes things are fixed. I'd never, ever bet on any of this shit because I'd end up losing my fucking money. It's like taking a whole paycheck and betting on black. Red or black, yeah, I'll take black this week because I lost last week and going to lose this week. The game was rigged. Even my old lady who don't even follow football will sit there and say, yeah, it's rigged, but then she just changed her mind. It's like, well, no, it is. Yeah, it, the fucking game was rigged. Like NASCAR. When Bubba come in and made those changes, no more Confederate flags? What the fuck? That's always been a staple of NASCAR racing. There's no racism there. It was just part of racing, that rebellious attitude of fuck the establishment. We're in our cars. We're hillbilly moonshiners, and we're going to out here have a good time. It's basically a fuck you to the establishment. We ain't got nothing to do with slavery. No, no. Social agenda. MMA, even Dana White, well, if he was an honest person, would tell you that some of these fights were rigged. I, I can name a couple off the bat. Misha Tate threw away her last fight. Got in there, took a couple hits, went down. That was it. Ronda Rousey, she's all pumped up. Got her ass whooped. 
threw it down first round it's over under you know nick diaz was under contract for almost five years for a fight he finally did it. he threw it down yeah it's uh you just take a dive in the first round it's over well if it's my last fight under contract i'm not gonna stand here and get beat up for five rounds that shit fucking hurts be for fucking real and they're out of the contract as long as you show up you get hit a couple times you fall down get, you did your contract how dirty and they make millions of dollars off of us when we go out there and buy their shit. The other day I was at the hospital, and uh, every swinging dick in that hospital had a chief shirt on. Every swinging dick in that place had a fucking chief shirt on, except for me and my old lady. I had my crazy horse hoodie on. I went up to the crazy horse memorial back in 2011. So I had a crazy horse, and then I have a cane with a bunch of feathers and shit on it. So, no... Uh, Everybody, you know, and I was kind of in a weird way. It's kind of, you know, you got your right and so support, but in a way I was disgusted. I quit watching this shit because they took a fucking knee. They added an agenda to it, and I saw through it, and I'm like, I'm done with this shit. Trust me, we used to love sitting here listening to the radio because we don't have a TV, listening to the Chiefs games on Sundays, and every now and then a baseball game. I hadn't done that in years. Remember Lynn Dawson, Lynn Dawson, any Kansas City Chiefs fans, Lynn Dawson's out there. You know, we used to love listening to Lenny give his fucking um, Q&A on the fucking game. So just a couple thoughts on how dirty professional sports is. Oh, and if you're a fucking asshole troll and you want to add something to this, knock yourself out on this video. Speak your fucking mind. I'll even keep it up so people out there can know what a piece of shit fucking troll you are. And this is how bad shit's getting on, on the internet now. I have to do a disclaimer every time because of trolls. I even got attacked by a troll on my weatherman station. No shit, because he's too petty. I was first. It said zero, and I'm petty. Trolls are petty. This whole fucking thing's petty. Now we're going to buy into the hype. I tell you what, there's more hype on the NFL after the Gekin game during the whole goddamn season. I think what's going to happen is too many egos. Egotistical egos that's going to get in the way it's going to get in the way and it's going to cause some problems i know when i won my first drag racing trophy i was a apprentice mechanic and then i have to go back to the shop and here i am i just pulled off a trophy i've done something that's really hard to do win a bracket race in a car that's not even a race car by the way a six-cylinder ford thunderbird with fuel injected against all these fucking monster fucking beast cars yeah i had a little chip on my shoulder and here i am pushing a broom you know, yeah, your ego gets in the way. So uh, you do what you want to do, sports fans. The the whole game's changed. Even hockey's not hockey anymore. They had to put the rainbow flag shit on. The, and who's going to watch that? Nobody likes that shit. Nobody wants it in their face. I wish these people would learn that. Nobody likes your agenda up in my fucking face. Let us come to it on our own terms. And that thing goes with the Black Lives Matter. Don't throw your shit in my face the way you guys do. I, I need to approach this on my own terms, and then maybe we could get along. And the way the world is, nobody getting along. So spend your money. Spend that $100 on that Chiefs jersey. Buy, them, buy those season tickets. Fuck, the NFL's so stupid, they can't even figure out covered dome stadiums with climate control. Har, 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 devil horn salute. Have a great day, losers.